ஹலோ வேர்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு நேதா வீடியோ ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் டெஸ்க் இஸ் அபவுட் வாட் இஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் இன் ஓடோ சிக்ஸ்டி அ சப்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் இஸ் அன் அக்ரிமெண்ட் பிட்வீன் அ கஸ்டமர் அண்ட் அ ப்ரொவைடர் ஃபார் ஸ்பெசிஃபைட் பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் இன் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் ஆஃப் ரெக்கரிங் பேமெண்ட் ஃபார் தி சர்வீசஸ் தேட் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் பை தி கஸ்டமர் சப்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் கேன் பி யூஸ்ட் இன் வேரியஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் சச் ஆஸ் இ கமர்ஸ் என்டர்டெயின்மெண்ட் அண்ட் மீடியா யூ கேன் ஆல்சோ அப் செல் அண்ட் ரினியூ யுவர் சப்ஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் Let's say you have a subscription in e-book platform so that you could access to large library of books. And after a few months, you have received an email for upgrading your subscription. So if you have upgrade or upsell your subscription, you could get more benefits of the e-book platform. And after a few months, you came to know that your subscription is about to expire. In such cases, you can easily manage or renew your subscription. So let's see how to manage subscription in Odoo 16. Subscription plans are the quotation templates used to pre-configure quotations with subscription product. Use subscription plans to quickly create subscription orders. To configure subscription plans, go to subscription module. Under the configuration, we can see plans. And... Here you can either choose the existing plan or you can create new plan. So let me choose the existing plan. Since the Odoo subscription app is integrated closely with the sales app, subscription plan uses the same form as that of the quotation templates. Here we can see certain options in the subscription plan. The first field uh, shows the subscription plan name. Here you can enter the name of the subscription. You can also set the quotation expires after, which means here you can enter the number of days after which the quotation expire, starting from the day the quotation is sent to the customer, or you can leave this field as zero for the quotation never to expire. And you can also set online confirmation. You can enable this uh, boxes that is signature and payment, so that the subscription order by signing or paying for the quotation only the uh, yeah subscription will be confirmed you can also uncheck this so that uh, the customer do not need to sign or make payment for the confirmation you can also set a confirmation mail here you can either choose it from this list or you can just create a new one and make changes you can also set confirmation mail as well as invoice mail so i'm setting the confirmation mail as uh order confirmation i mean sales order confirmation mail as well as invoicing mail as subscription invoice you can also set the recurrency which means uh you can select the recurrence period used for the plan the recurrence periods available here are shown in this list and you can configure that if you want to create a new uh recurrence period you can just go to the configuration menu and we can see a recurrence period so this would allow you to create new uh, period so let me go to the plans and let me choose uh, the plan that we were discussing and you can also set the duration of this plan like you can choose the duration as forever or fixed so if the duration is forever then the subscription plan will continually renew until either the customer or the company manually ends the subscription if the duration is fixed then enter the end date which determines the amount of time after which the subscription will be automatically end so let me choose the duration as forever and you can also self uh, close this which means that if you enable this box uh the customer to terminate their subscription from the customer portal and you can also set a automatic closing days that is enter the number of days after which unpaid subscription uh passed the due date are automatically closed here you can also choose the invoicing journal so let me choose the invoicing journal as customer invoices in the line tab here we can create the order lines for the quotation you can add the product by clicking on add a product so here we have already added a product that is e book subscription so you can see the quantity that uh, we are uh, given as one quantity under this uh, plan as one okay now we have 
optional products and the any optional product that the customer can add to their quotation before confirming the order and if the subscription plan has a unique terms and conditions you can add that under the terms and condition tab so here you can give the instruction like and if the terms and conditions are specified on the plan these will be used instead of the default terms and condition setup in the sales app settings under the health check we can set the health check uh, details so let me save this now we can use uh, quotations for subscription products and that can be created both in subscription app and sales app so when you go to the uh, dashboard of subscription module here you can see we can either directly create a subscription i mean subscription quotation directly from the subscription module or you can also create that from the sales module so here you can see we can directly create from the sales module now let me create a quotation for the customer to receive the customer okay so let me choose that customer and here you can also choose uh, the recurrence that is monthly and let me choose a product that is ebook subscription okay and after that as you choose uh, the ebook subscription you can save this quotation and uh, you can see this is currently recurring because we have set the uh, recurrency as monthly and you can confirm this so you would be able to see uh, the monthly mrr and you can also upsell a subscription as well as you can also renew a subscription so subscription are recurrent and go on indefinitely as it time passes by a customer may want to modify them we must uh, then be able to adapt the prices or changes the products quantity to accommodate their needs so there are two situations that can happen there might be loyal customers and new customers so in case of loyal customers this kind of customers already trust you as a brand therefore you are confident uh, regarding what you offer since they keeping keep paying for the products and services consequently it is easier to sell them something additional than it would be able to uh, a new customer and in case of a new customer for this kind of customers you have to come with this something new and something attractive so you can set discounts uh, to make them attractive so upselling can make a subscription last longer so you can um, go to the configuration settings under that we have an option of discount so grant discounts on the sales order so this would let you to give the discounts for the customer so we have already enabled that feature now let me save the changes and let me go to the orders and choose the quotation that we have created now let's see how we can upsell uh, our subscription so you can choose the quotation that we have created so let me click on upsell so this would let you to upsell your order so you cannot create an upsell for the subscription because it has not yet started has not yet invoiced so uh, yeah let's uh, create an invoice for this first so let me create invoice so let's confirm the invoice and you can just click on register payment in order to complete the payment so here you can see we have done the payment and after reconciliation the payments will be moving to the bank and you can see the monthly recurring revenue will be hundred dollar and everything is shown here the uh, sales order as well as the event date the type of event as well as sales person sales team change in monthly recurring revenue and um, monthly recurring revenue after change and the category everything is shown here now let's back to the sale order so currently this is a uh, is recurring right now let's click on upsell so this would let you to upsell the order so when you click on upsell you can see 
uh, currently we have uh, upsell this so here you can uh, upsell the quantity and the customer is again requesting for one quantity okay he is upselling it for one quantity and here you can see recurring products are discounted according to the uh, prorated period and that period is shown here as we have enabled that you can see that now we can also set discounts for this so let me uh, set a discount because this is a loyal customer because he is previous customer and he is upselling our product so here you can also provide a discount so as you provide the discount the subtotal will be changing accordingly okay so you can see that and now let me confirm this so currently we are upselling that and yeah we have confirmed and you can see now as we have upsell this uh, subscription you can see two sales order has created so when you go to uh, the sales order you would be able to see one is to upsell okay so uh, the uh, sales order number will be changing but this uh, all other details will be regarding to the existing customer okay now let's back and uh, create an invoice so as we have upselled our monthly recurring revenue will be also changing okay so if you have changed the quantity as uh, two or three you will will be noticing that the monthly recurring revenue will be changing accordingly now let me go to the upsell and you can create a invoice for that because we need to make payment for the upsell so here you can see uh, that's not paid now let me make payment by confirming uh, the invoice and click on register payment so that this would let you to uh, create the payment so after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank now this is uh, just upselling that uh, the customer is demanding for longer period of subscription now we can also renew this okay now uh, if you want to renew uh, the subscription like just consider the situation where the subscription might um, expire so in such cases we can also renew the subscription so if you want to renew the subscription you just go to the other info and you have to enable uh, the to renew button so that here you can see this quotation is about to renew now now if you want to renew the quotation you can just click on renew button so this will again create a sale order okay because we are um, renewing this so let me renew uh, the two quantity of the subscription okay so let me click on confirm so that i can renew all the uh, subscription and you can see the amount uh, for renewal is 200 because we have first we have um, created a quotation for one of the uh, subscription and we have upsell the quantity so the quantity has changed to two now we are renewing that two quantity of subscription so the amount will be changing here as 200 as the monthly recurring revenue so here we need to confirm two invoices okay so actually uh, here you can see uh, three invoices is created one is for uh, the creation and that will be logged and after that uh, we have uh, upsell the quantity and finally we have renewed the quantity now let me create invoice for the renewed one so uh, here you can just click on create invoice now let's make payment for that okay now we are going to complete the payment and after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank so here you would be able to see now we will be having three uh, invoices and three sales order so hope the concept of subscription management in odo is clear for you thank you for watching the video as always stay awesome